What's up everybody? Welcome to our tips section, Just a Tips. I'm Captain Frank Viola and today I'm going to teach you a fly fishing knot. This is how you attach your backing to your fly line. It's called a nail knot, it's an advanced knot, but if you pay attention to this tutorial, it's going to make it a lot easier on you. So, don't get upset at yourself or not getting it the first time. I'm going to show you some tricks to hopefully speed up the process so you can tie this a little faster, a little better, and it works. I use this for all my big redfish, big snook, bonefish permit, and even my 12 weight tarpon stuff. This is how I attach, especially if you're going to use Cortland high end fly line. We're using the cold salt series seven weight redfish line by Cortland. We're using Dacron. Some people prefer braid. I've got Dacron. It's still good. It's only a year old. I'm going to use it. This is how you do it. Here we go. Let's go over the things you're going to need. Number one, you need a pair of pliers because you're going to have to cut some line. Number two, you need your fly line. Three, you need your backing. It's already attached to my fly reel, which is over here. And number four, you need two nails, not one. A lot of people use one. I'm gonna show you exactly why I use two. First step, we're gonna open up this fly line. We're gonna take it off. I got a fire pit next to me right here. We're gonna unravel it. Ryan, I'm doing a YouTube video right now. I'm actually filming as I'm talking to you right now and your stupid ass fly line does not come off the stupid ass spool without getting knotted up everywhere. What did I do wrong? Did you take the spool apart before you did it or? Damn it. I did do that. I, sp I should have left the, sp I should have taken it apart, taken the things off and then put the spool back on and then unraveled it that way, shouldn't I have? Yeah, fly line's a pain in the butt. If you do that, if you do it the wrong way, it's like, good luck. It takes like 15 minutes to get it all out. Can you hear him okay on the camera? Yeah. All right, Ryan, say hi to everybody on YouTube. How's it going, everyone? This is Ryan Edwards. He's the marketing director for Cortland, and I am blaming him fully for not telling me how to take the fly line apart before this mess. <laughs> All I'm trying to teach the people to do is tie a nail knot, and I can't even get the line apart. I'll get a how-to video on how to There you go. Yeah, just tag me in it and be like, Frank Viola, thanks for the nail knot video with our line, but this is actually how you take the spool apart, you idiot. All right, now that we've gotten our fly line unraveled, finally, we're gonna put that to the side. We're gonna focus just on the Dacron. We're gonna get our two nails, and we're gonna put them together. I'm gonna try to space them out and hold them spaced out just a little bit. I'm gonna bring this backing, hold it with my thumb, I'm gonna take it from the back end of these nails to the front end, and I'm gonna begin looping from the front. This first wrap is very important, from the front to the back. Now I'm gonna loop. 10 times. But I'm not gonna go too tight because I don't want these nails to really cinch together all the way. I wanna leave a gap. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, and I'm gonna pinch it with my pointer finger in the back. I'm gonna go to the very end of my backing and I'm gonna slide this whole back end through the entire knot I just made. And this is why I say you want to keep kind of a little bit of a spacing in there because you want to be able to get it through the both nails all the way through to the front end of this loops. So we're bringing it through, we're going to pull it tight. So you can see that if I pull the back end and the front end of this wrap, it cinches these, not, these nails together. The next step is we get your fly line. And we're going to go from the front end of these nails through the back end. You might have to wiggle the nails a little bit, but you don't want them to pull them apart. You just want to make sure those wraps are still good. You're going to pull this fly line through, and now you're going to have that fly line going from the front of the nails to the back. We're gonna sit down again a little more, and this is a cool trick right here. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna pull this front end while I wiggle out one of the nails. So I'm gonna pull one of the nails out slowly. I'm gonna make sure that I pull down on these wraps as soon as that nail comes out. All right, if you gotta readjust them a little bit, you can, but that's beautiful right there. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna slide it off the front of this knot. I'm gonna pull them tight again. So I'm gonna pull these down slowly to the front of this nail and as we get to the tip I'm gonna start pulling here we go I'll pull it all tight all right so the nails are out I've got it relatively tight now I'm gonna pull both sides of the backing tight now I'm gonna take the backing and the fly line I'm gonna pull it I'm gonna clip off with my premios the tag end of Dacron first we'll pull one more time with the fly line and the Dacron the backing and now this thing is locked tight I'm gonna clip it as close as I can to the knot without touching the knot and that's it right there, you guys. That knot's going nowhere. 
All right, all you got left to do now, get your reel, start bringing your fly line up into your reel, go back and forth with it, and you are absolutely ready to uh, catch a stick underneath your feet <laughs> and uh, go fishing. Just bring this bad boy up in here. It's got more sticks over there. That's wonderful. It's like I'm practicing fighting a fish already. But that's your tip. Maybe you don't do this in your backyard with sticks and leaves everywhere that get stuck on the fly line. Um, other than that, everything I just showed you works 100%. And you'll be ready to go catch yourself a big red fish, bone fish, snook, trout, whatever. Um, and get yourself more nest messes to clean up before you get to the end of your fly line. Um, this knot actually works for the front end as well. If you want to tie, if you want to clip the uh, front loop off of the premium fly line, the Cortland fly line, um, a lot of very, very advanced professional fly fishermen hate that loop at the end because it stops the line from rolling over into your layered leader. Um, so if you want to do it that way, you want to fish like professional fly fishermen, you're going to want to do that same exact knot on the front end with your mono or your floral. Um, otherwise, you just tie a loop knot, and I'll teach you that next time. But that's how you tie the nail knot. I hope that helps. Um, watch it a few times, because if you do, I think you're going to get it, and it's going to help you a lot. See you next time. Dude, what the, what the f***? Dude, what the f***?